Oh god, they are totally coming out of my monitor speakers. Hold on. <laughs> How did this happen? I'm here. There we I've go. The, Can you I've hear them the now? Place. Can you hear them now? Can you hear them now? Oh my goodness. Are, Hello, are we are we live? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear them? Double checking. Are we dying? Yes. We're is, definitely dying. Am I real? Yeah, they can hear all of us. Is it... Is it... Real life? Is it just fantasy? <laughs> Caught definitely. in a landslide. <laughs> no escape from reality? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Just sing. Rising. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. How logic! Uh, hello. Welcome... Welcome to the Relay Station podcast. Uh, it's going to be just a beautiful disaster today because I'm hosting the podcast. Just, oh, just, oh, just don't, go don't with it. Don't take all the credit for you, Jake. I'm here too. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll share responsibility. So, so right off the bat here, I gotta, I gotta shout out to Ghost Four Hundred Four here for Multinational Podcast Day, U.S., Canada, U.K., and Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That is you know, excellent. You know to be fair, <laughs> there are more people down here who probably would would, would um would probably like not be be offended even by that. No, like, oh, thank, <laughs> no. You. thank you for understanding that Texas is own country. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. And theoretically, technically, Texas is the only state in the United States that was its oh, own country, boy. except for hopefully in the future, Puerto Rico. So, mm. since Puerto Rico just voted to become a state, so agreed. Yeah. That means uh, I, I know Texas would reject it because you know they're like we can't <laughs> let we can't let another country become a become a state. That's not happening. But didn't well, no, why <laughs> did why? I thought Puerto Rico decided to become a state because they've got slightly less money now than Detroit. Yes. Yeah, basically. Okay, okay. Sure. But 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 your your local your local totally not related to Star Citizen, but could be related to Star Citizen because we're talking about finance uh, a little bit today. Um, uh, Civic's uh, oh, understanding is that their their debt is like a drop in the bucket to the U.S.'s. It's oh yeah, like, absolutely. It's like a couple of billion dollars. So it's like the the, the U.S. debt would be like <laughs> that's US hilarious. That's US debt's like <laughs> US debt's like what eleven trillion now or something? Oh, more than that. But yeah. the, yeah. like our our, our defense go. budget has more has more um hell our like a budget for like NASA has more money than than um, Puerto Rico owes like <laughs> U.S. Yeah. U.S. has fuck you money. That's that's the kind of kind of you know. But uh. Isn't that because like the currency in Puerto Rico it's the goat? No, they use they use the U.S. currency. Oh, I thought it was all goats still. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Before we before we get to, into to the threes of Puerto Ricans watching, I'm a, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm actually curious now. To, I can actually find that out somewhere. Um, but yeah, yeah before sorry bef to anyone who's in before Puerto we Rico. get started, um, I do <laughs> want to nice. point out some extra buttons that have shown up on our channel. Um, Ooh, we have buttons. We do have. We have two uh, very important buttons. Now uh, I can chill for for relay. Make sure you follow and subscribe. And subscribe. Uh, this is going to be the worst, grossest uh, self promotion that will ever come out of my mouth, and I'm going to do it again at the end of the show. So deal with it. Um, so in the text box, you'll see a little icon that looks sort of like a like a dunce cap, a little bit. Uh, next to the smiley face. Yep. Um, that right there is your ability to cheer for us and give us your bits. Um, you can purchase you can purchase bits with your own hard earned money, or you can watch an advertisement and earn bits that way. Um, and that goes to us. And so if you if you 
something happens on the podcast that is especially just terrible, just throw bits at us and tell us to stop. Because then we'll listen. We won't listen any other way. Hey, we're, we're like a bad, a bad, um, a bad uh, bar band. You yeah. pay us to stop. You don't yes. pay us for requests. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, also, uh, something new for us fancy Twitch affiliates as of this week. Um, if you also notice at the top of your stream, right above, over, over there in, in Nakara's direction is a subscribe button uh you can subscribe to us uh at any tier we are going to get emotes eventually we just haven't decided on what those will be yet um i i, I propose relay station silver relay station gold relay station with jake puking off of it i mean yeah, but it would idea. be so <laughs> tiny i'd be yeah. like a pixel <laughs> I, think we need have, I think we need to have Dancing Jake, Dancing David, and Dancing Dolbeck. Yes. <laughs> see, <laughs> see <laughs> I'm okay with why, this. Why, why are we bringing Dolbeck into anything? <laughs> what, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are coming. If you have any suggestions as to, uh, as to what our emotes should be, um... You should go to, uh, not go anywhere, go to your email typing device and send an email to staff at Relay. Email typing device. Right. <laughs> yes. Nice. E uh, staff, .rel staff at Relay.sc or you can tweet at Relay.sc. Let us know uh, what you want e our emotes to be. Um, I prefer them to be hilarious and obnoxious. So... Give me your best emote ideas. Um, can, we get, can we get Captain Richard's butt as an emote? Uh, there have been several channels on the Twitch that have tried to put butts as emo emotes in various but forms. But it's Captain Richard! And, and Twitch has very, very disturbing policy of no butt emotes. No, they have, dou they have double standards. That's all. Yeah. Are they getting a They're, bit behind with it? You want me to show you buddy emotes? I got like four of them. Oh, not, not even joking. Do they uh, have to be clothed butts? Yes. Okay, that's the problem. But one small piece of string going between the two is <laughs> perfectly acceptable. That makes it fine. Oh. It's dressed now. It's cosplay. All right, Twitch. It's cosplay. It's totally cosplay. There. Oh, look, Twitch. those are those are some nice butts. That that's a. Uh, that's a Commander Shepard butt, mm -hmm. right there. <coughs> that's that's excellent. Um, all right, have we, so, have we mentioned Star Citizen? Nine no, Vincent? no. I, <laughs> no. I, I wanted to get. I wanted to to to. to, to uh, I don't know. Um, so I, I will say this is the 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 the, um, the podset has started now. Yes, the podset. The podset yep. has begun. Um, we're. We actually want to come up. Pod sad. We actually want to come up with a fancy logo for that as well. So, um, yeah, who's this is... doing the marathon tonight? What is anyone doing the marathon tonight of all podcasts? Uh, I mean, I'm kind of. I'm doing this and then mine. But I think Gray's got his. I don't know if Gray's streaming tonight, and if he is, I don't know if he is streaming tonight. But I don't. I don't. I'm not his guest, so. No one's, no I've one's done, done that. the full pod sat in a while, except for Jake. Jake's I did that a few did weeks ago, and that was just horrendous. I was I was so dead by the end of the day. <laughs> I just kept drinking. Yeah. Drank on, on the, on the <laughs> I had station. reached. You drank at the cabin's I had table, reached, and, and then you got smashed on the um, <laughs> on, on that so so sober Saturday. I I that had reached boring. the point where my body was entering hangover mode. <laughs> because it had been so long since I had started drinking, it was it was bad. Um, but yeah, so so we'll we'll talk about those podcasts at the end of the show as well. Um, but this is the beginning, so welcome. Um, so what happened in the Star Citizen land this week? Um, not a whole lot in terms of new stuff. Um, no, the around the verse was kind of short this week. Um, but good. But it was good. good. Short. It was good. Eh, I, I would I would argue it wasn't good. It just wasn't. It was all right. Bad. Like it was. It, it, it was, was stuff we knew about. I didn't say it was spectacular. I said I, it was I, good. I would say it's the weakest. <laughs> it's the weakest one we've had in a little while. It, 
since since the new season since since this year for this year it's the weakest around uh around the verse this year yeah um well since they did the new format because they also tried that old format like they tried the brand new format in like J- january and everyone's like oh my god what the fuck is this and they're like okay okay we'll go back to the old format yeah so um but we saw some some chemtrails <clears throat> some st- <laughs> some starship chemtrails um, uh, there's a really uh beautiful gif of like all the all the ships like like flying into the atmosphere of yep. something i don't, well, I don't there, remember what i really enjoyed watching like getting to see the fights from a ways away um it's not something we've seen a lot of and uh i i'm still i think it's gonna be really cool to be standing on a moon and like look up and there's a giant like just messy battle above you like, yeah. i will say there was a lot of there's a lot of salt and anger about that which is dumb in my opinion if you're angry about 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 like contrails in space or in an atmosphere you're wrong like <laughs> gonna say that. like there's gonna Combo be does it he there's does be it so much going on yeah in space and it. there's like like there's going to be like Especially when the ships are so far away that, like, they're going to be little pixels. And, like, you're not even going to be able to see it. Mm-hmm. So... Well, it's the, the thing is, too, is that, like, they, they hit it on the head. Chris really, really wants this in the game. And it's for gameplay reasons. It's not for realism. It's It's because it makes gameplay much, much better. Because you can actually see where the ships are. Mm-hmm. Um... You, the distance is especially like even uh, like you can almost throw out other um, space games because even in other space games they fake distance for the most part. You're actually going to be a long ways away from things a lot in Star Citizen. The only you need some way to see. <laughs> yep. You know. Yep. So um, between engine uh, between weapons fire and engine trails, that's basically your way of seeing a ship. Yep. Of. You've also got a short-term tracking thing there as well. Yep. Um, we saw a few things. Um, well, actually, the biggest thing and what what Chris said was the the big news on on around the verse was um, in the newsletter. They said they hit one of their big internal milestones for 3.0, and they were doing a big play test of what mm-hmm. they had. And they've gotten to the point, and the uh, the um, the schedule report was indicative of this, where a lot of things are coming online, to the point where they can test most everything right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, they can test everything in one big pot pile instead. Yeah, of little instead of little piles. tiny pieces. Yeah. 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 Um, so, um. And they're getting to the point where they're like, yes, we're going to give this to our avocado friends and and have them at least hammer out most of it. Um, not, not everything is going to be ready for them when they get it, when they get the build, but at least they'll be able to get started. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It was, it was a quiet week. Yeah, it was. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> it was quiet on the actual Star Citizen news front. Yeah, yes. it was. It was. It was not quiet on the 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 Saturday evening when I'm in the middle of fucking <laughs> SE4 competition and trolls start showing up. Being at a esports convention, a, like thing of all all things, I was just confused. I'm like, are you lost? Is, <laughs> Did, did you did you like this is not a what, what are you doing here? You just saw big numbers that said I'm gonna go troll and then you left like what? Yeah. Wow. Then yep. I had to find out. I think we all found out that 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 in some way, shape, or full, roundabout way instead of like the way that everyone else did, which was Reddit. Yeah. Um. So I I guess let's talk about that because that's kind of the reason why we brought. Uh, Paul on the show this week is uh, especially if for those of you who didn't <laughs> who didn't watch the podcast a few weeks ago. Um, so basically, what happened was 
um, because UK financial things are very transparent and everybody can see the things. By the way, good job, UK. Specifically, yeah, specifically because <laughs> CIG is receiving a benefit from the UK government. Yes. Um, and EU government, actually. Well, yeah. not government, but yeah, I guess it kind of has. So, so basically, what it's, had it's happened? It's actually a UK thing. It's it's not an EU thing. It's a UK. Yeah, thing. it's a UK oh. thing. Okay, I thought, I thought the EU, not EU. Also, I thought they were getting some EU benefits as well. EU are doing one as well, but the, it, the oh, that, CIG for benefit okay. from uh, oh, fudge. I did have the act somewhere. But yeah. The act doesn't matter. So, no. so essentially, what what had happened was um, CIG took out a loan because. Um, so every every year the uh, they get a tax credit because they're a video game developer. Mm -hmm. and I think maybe you should start at the beginning. They took out a loan and no one knew why. Yes, they took out a loan. <laughs> and everybody's like, "What? You took out a loan? And you got all that we money?" Continue, community. Can I? Can, can we come in a little bit? Yeah, come on. This, this is me, Paul, and the, the, and your friends from Relay. We, Hi. Hi. Come. We had this discussion ago a while ago. Yes, we they do. have loans. They have lines of credit. They probably have put up more, more than the, more than the uh, what they put up for the loan uh, in UK for loans in the United States. But in the United States, they don't have to tell you shit. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to capitalist Earth. This they is probably how things have had work. loans, and they probably <laughs> had loans for pretty much. The entire time that they have been a company. Mm hmm Yep. Before we continue, understand this and take your concerns and, and know that this is this is normal. <clears throat> so this they, is in fact normal. So they took out a loan. Uh, come to find out. Uh, so basically, the the all game developers in the United Kingdom get uh, they get money from the government because they're making yeah. art. It's the UK Game Developer Tax Credit. Yep. They get nice, beautiful monies. Because um, the UK wants to steal all them, them them game developers from EU and Canada. Yeah. And that um, is why, just as a note, that is why the UK studio is like 240 people mm -hmm. um, and the entire rest of the company is about 160. Yep. <laughs> um, so... Uh, they what they did was they took out a loan to UK Studios by the way for the for the amount that they would receive from the government come tax time mm -hmm. in order to get it early. Um, now, why would they get it early? Because man, I don't know if y'all haven't been watching the news or whatever, but <laughs> UK is like. Us here in America are on fire, but the UK is also kind of on fire a little bit. Just a little. A little bit. And uh, the value of the British pound is decreasing, and it's trending in that direction. So basically what, what they're doing is they looked at it, and they're like, Hey, we should do this so we can pay this loan in other currencies, not the British pound, because we get currency from the entire planet. Yeah. And it's going to be worth more. Um, it's going to be worth more than the interest we pay on this loan. And everything will be fantastic. Yeah. That's, that's the gist, essentially. So, right off the bat, um, sorry, go ahead, Paul. I was gonna say, for those of you guys who don't know, you're, this is this is similar to what's, what's called a short in uh, um, in buying when you buy stock. The idea being that you are basically taking out money that you believe you can make more money off the market than you would, um, or or more money off of other other stocks, so that you make those money and then you put it back into wh wherever you took it out of in, for, in the first place. Uh, so selling stocks so that you can make more money with other stock and then causing that stock to drop and then the stock you sold to drop in price and then set buying that stock back at a decreased price increasing your money overall um it's not it's not the same it's not exactly the exact same but it's a similar concept the idea being we can take money out and put ourselves into into debt that we can then um 
because we know we can make more money off the money they give us. And then we, when we pay back the loan, we, we end up with more money than we had in the first place. Yes. Um, now, the reason why the entire internet was like, ah, everything's dying, was because, as collateral for this loan, they put up collateral. No, they, just, they put up game. Game. That's all they said. So they everybody, up, everybody's noted, like, they put up Squadron Forty Two, but yes. nobody knows how to re read a legal contract. Nope. So, so the the whole internet like... just exploded and was like, a bank owns Star Citizen now. Yeah. Um. Not only that, beyond first of all, the main collateral on the loan was the tax credit itself, because that's what they were going. They're like, if nothing else happens, we are getting this money. Yep. So, you know, uh, that's our collateral for the loan. Um, yep. But if something crazy happened and the world exploded and the UK government no longer existed, then they would have to pay it off in some other way. Yep. Uh, um, Southern Cross asks, how can Squadron 42 be an asset? Um, it's the intellectual property. Yeah. Intellectual uh, property plus all of the things they've made. Yep. And there's also a couple of different things caveats inside that which if you know how to read yeah. legalese you understand that this is a pretty common contract when you're dealing with ips as uh as collateral um yep. which is it doesn't help the bank if you say if you take out a money take a loan and you put your business up for collateral which is not uncommon for early startups it happens a lot because you don't have a lot of for those of you guys who don't know what collateral is it's, it's something that's physical that you that the bank can say I need proof that you could pay me back if you went fucking tits up tomorrow. Yeah. And co the collateral with the IP means that they think that they can make money off this IP if CIG went tits up. Mm -hmm. However, it doesn't help the bank that if CIG isn't making money off that IP right now. Yep. So, yeah. so the way that, so so, here's... So the way that, that works is that you end, uh, they end up being able to still sell the game and make money off the game without having to deal with the bank. So I just wanted to throw out there, because there were a couple of people asking about um, intellectual property and why it has value. Um, s say you own the intellectual property Superman. With that intellectual property, you can make anything video games. Superman related. Uh, movies, t-shirts, video games, t-shirts, action yeah. figures, or license someone else to make, or license someone exactly. else to do that and, and make and money in, from that. And then a side note: there's actually some crazy ways of, of IP IP making money. In fact, if you look at games like Battle BattleTech, which was a board game or a tabletop game, it also has. They also sold the rights to MechWarrior, even though they're the same IP. It's basically the same under the same IP. MechWarrior is a separate IP from BattleTech, so. You can actually separate even inside uh, CIG, Squadron 42, and, CI and Star Citizen, even though they're the same uh, universe and the same kind of game. It would they're be still like different. It, they're still different. They're still different yeah. IPs. Yep. Uh, it actually so, should be noted that very, ex uh, well, not very, explicitly in the legal contract for this loan, it excludes Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, from the. So I, um, I just wanted to say that to kind of give you an idea on how completely valuable intellectual property is um mm -hmm. it's it could be infinitely valuable mm -hmm. it, like it's, like it, like the ip for mickey mouse yes exactly no no um so, so it's it's not copyright um sorry, because copy. i mean um copyright is part of intellectual property um, yeah, copyright is when it comes into effect if someone's trying to steal your intellectual property. This isn't yes. under the same thing. Intellectual property is the thing. The copyright mm -hmm. is the law protecting your thing. Yeah. Yes. Um, the, other th the other thing that, that didn't really pass is... Uh, I'm actually kind of disappointed that any media outlets had all picked this up. Because something that, that didn't pass the smell test right off the bat if it was a bad thing... Is that the company they used, the, the bank they used, uh, Coots and Company, um, they don't deal with people who are at risk for defaulting nope. on loans. They only deal with rich people and famous people and um, only you know, deal in the a, royal in family, risk. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and they, and, and, and they so only the, deal in no. low risk loans. And, and the thing is, is that people were like, uh, I've heard people say, well, why? 
why you know they, they were looking that Sasha's going to lose money off of this in the long run. Why why are they why is CIG worrying about? And the answer is is that this bank has so much money from its from its uh, from the people who bank there. The Queen banks with them. The Queen of England, the royal family. This is the royals' family's banks, a uh, royal family bank, as well as superstars, athletes, you know, models. Uh, major, huge corporations like a around the around the UK and the world bank with these guys. They have so much fu money in their um, in in their coffers. They can they can afford a really really low interest rate because they don't yeah. need that much money as a result. Um, so the the answer is how do they make money? They don't need to make money off of loans because they make money hand over fist by existing and being posh as shit. Mm -hmm. And they so. First of all, I do expect they, the. We don't know the loans interest rate. We also don't know how much it was for, but uh, I wouldn't imagine it's for a whole lot. The tax credit's probably maybe a couple million dollars, um, but uh, or a couple million pounds. But uh, regardless, it's only a short-term loan. Uh, they said it was the fall, so I guess we're looking at three months, maybe. Um, so it's really not it, first of all i didn't really think it was a big deal to begin with um and then you gotta you gotta love him ortwin uh Freyermuth, uh I, I don't i think i'm butchering his name but um he was the co-founder of uh cig with chris roberts he is a uh basically did a lot of similar stuff to Chris, uh, Hollywood producer type, but he is also a lawyer. And he's he, not a uh, lawyer. He's probably uh, one of the most recognized intellectual property rights law lawyers in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. And um, he took a took some time out of his Saturday last week to write up a big fo post on Spectrum, basically explaining what the loan was for, why they took it out. Um, why it's not a problem, and so on and so forth, and that basically put everything to bed. Um, I know at least one of the outlets that had picked up the story issued a, an apology right away. I'm not sure if the other ones did. Um, uh, one did. I don't know if the other ones did or retract, but it, he had to do it. And, and po politically, why he had to do it was because larger um, writers for larger uh, mainstream media... Uh, gaming magazines were making noises about writing their own articles about this and they they so they were probably wrote they probably wrote articles and they probably were sending them through legal before yep. they could uh, they could get them out there and so ortwin wanted to make sure that that didn't go out because it was a, it's a dumb thing to write about in yeah when it's literally business and it has nothing to do with anything <laughs> related to, to gaming it's just how businesses work um, and, uh, so he wrote this very plain, very easy to read argument or to the explanation for the whole thing. And it completely defused the entire situation. People yep. were just like, oh, okay. It's cause, and <laughs> this, this is what happens on the internet and especially in like, here's the thing. Here's if, if you guys needed to figure out which, uh, online game journalists you wanted to read, Here's a good uh, metric for that, is seeing who reported on this before it was clarified and said everything is broken, and who reported on everything it... Everything is on fire. And who reported it on it saying everything is fine, because they did the research. The people who thought everything was on fire, maybe don't read those people's things anymore, because yeah. that's bad journalism. Not just bad Especially, journalism, but it's hi it's uh, almost, hypeism. Like it could yeah. even be construed as slanderous. Well, not slander. Is it fake news? Or is it some of the fake libel. news I've libel. heard about? This is literally fake news. Fake news. Yeah. Yes. Fake especially. News. I know what fake news is now. Especially the article that came out that said um, something along the lines of Star Citizen is now owned by a bank. Mm -hmm. Um, that one was particularly bad. <laughs> well, it so also, bad. it also implied that the Star Citizen was owned by the UK government because it was the Queen's bank and everyone thought that meant that the Queen owned the bank because they didn't understand no. how British... <laughs> <laughs> That's a direct conflict of interest. 
<laughs> yeah. Right there, Shimmer. I'm so disappointed in people. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the queen banks uh, in a bank doesn't mean it's her bank. Hey, do I own my bank now? Uh, Brim <laughs> you know, the queen doesn't need a bank. All she needs to do is just cover half her face in ink, smash it against some paper, and write five, ten in the corner, and that's legal. <laughs> no one's going to argue with the queen. <laughs> now, there, I think part of the reason we want to talk about this today is not only... I mean, people should take a lesson from this. Don't just brush it off. Mm -hmm. If in the future you hear about, uh, you know, CIG's taken out a loan, it, all it means is that they're doing normal business. That's the only thing that means. Now, mm -hmm. if you hear Star Citizen ha or CIG hasn't paid its employees in three months, maybe that's be concerned. When you have to be, then yes. you have to be concerned. Then we have a Crytek situation. As, Nic <laughs> as Nakara and I both talked about, well, I guess all of us talked about, Nakara brought it up last time we talked about financials, financials, is if you're worried about CIG not having money, look at their hiring page. If exactly. they're not hiring anybody, then they're in trouble. If they're hiring people, they still have money to throw around because they're looking for people to throw money at so that they can make the game go faster. Even though it doesn't really work like that, but still, you know, that's, that's the idea. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's see here. What else happened this week? So there's, no, <laughs> there's, there's currently, um, there's currently 62 open positions with CIG. Wow. Yeah. I don't think that they're suffering financially. I think they're doing across okay. Across five studios. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, people forget, people keep saying four studios, there are five studios. There's now. five. Yep, they added There's a new two one in the UK. Uh, UK. Mm -hmm. By the way, mostly mo like animations and stuff like that. If anybody's out there, out there is an artist. Most of these positions are artists. They need artists. Mm -hmm. um, they need vehicle artists, environment artists. They need concept artists. They need lighting artists. They need technical artists, prop artists, UI oh, artists, I, graphic designers. Oh God, they need the UI. Like, Zane is I, the only man there, there and I feel like he's going insane. Like him and like <laughs> one lackey. <laughs> I see. I, I see. I, Zane I went up there yesterday, and I do feel that there is someone in their own little corner working on one thing. I think by themselves, really need a hand. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Zane in the corner working really hard on UI. Actually, oh, Zane's oh. got his full team going now. Does he actually have a team now? Oh, no, he yep, has a good. full. Well, I think he, I don't know if full team is the right word, but he He's has got a, a, a couple team. dudes. He, he has more than him and yes. like the one yes. intern they hired to get coffee. Who, yes, he is a computer being damn like, busy. UI. <laughs> well, I say he is damn busy. They are all damn busy. I can definitely say they are all f so fucking busy. But Zane is above how busy they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that, that, that was video the games. The, yes. The, the actual, um, the interesting news was, I don't believe they pushed anything back this week. This week. They updated the schedule report. They, they pushed things, uh, things back a few days for the most part. Um, yeah. but, but it was no, but there was no, like, there's like, no the, release date the release movement. Date push. Nope. Yeah. Um, and a so lot of I, things, a lot of things on, like, like I said before, a lot of the things on the schedule, um, were marked as feature complete. Um, Miles Eckhart is done. Uh, it looks fantastic, is, by the way. Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Um, uh, the only thing is, and I'm gonna, I'm, they took away the the, the shoulder pads. They took I'm, away the, the eighty gonna, style shoulder pads. I'm assuming they they've got this in their pipeline, but his jacket was clipping through the table. Ah, oh. bothered me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Make Listen. it not clip through the table, please. <laughs> I deal with that uh, enough. I'm playing. I'm playing Final Fantasy 14 right now, and my staff clips through my hat, and I oh. and it makes me very upset. No. A very wide brimmed hat, and and my staff just goes right through it. <laughs> the problems about having about having like custom characters yeah. and and <laughs> items. Yeah, they don't. If my character don't. was super tall, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. But <laughs> so there were no release date pushes. Nope. But um, the uh, the most notable part, well, one of the big notable bits is um, 
the back end work is now complete for 3.0. Oh, but gee, that's probably the reason why they said they did their whole like big thing together. Yep. That means that. Um, we also had inhabited derelict ship sites are done. Yep. Pick up and carry is done. Cargo game code engineering support is done. Insurance is done. Kiosk game code engineering is done. This sounds uh, like engine... a video game is happening before our very eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> engine trails and contrails, which we saw this week, are done. Asteroid physics are done. Solar system mission service is done. And that's the things they completed this week. Um, for the Yeah, and for the most part, um, there's a couple things that got moved to like the middle of next week um, that were supposed to be done uh, yesterday. Um, so... I'm pretty sure that yeah. those will all get finished because that's exactly what happened this week was uh, the stuff that was supposed to be done last week got pushed out a couple days and then it's now done. Now we, we do have the fourth, so it may, we may we may not get everything. Yeah, that's, that's true. The um, current the current ETF estimation is still in next week. Although the, although the close to patch time, that doesn't mean anything because CIG, <laughs> CIG employees are a little bit insane that way. Well, it's not. Um, it's not just. It, you know, it's not just like. And for people who are like, "Well, would they make them work on a holiday?" They volunteer to no, work on they, a holiday. No, that's the thing. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make them work on a holiday. No, they say um, go home, and the CIG, yeah. and they're like, "But we need, we need like but a no. couple of people to stick around to like, finish up this stuff." But the rest, of you go home. We don't. And people are like, "Nah, I'm good. No, I'll stay here." We, we, we're like this close. Fuck it's you. Like, I'm, man, not, I'm not going home. <laughs> we've got espresso machines and a fridge full of monsters. We're and, we're, we're yep. good. And I can I can tell you at least with Austin, there's a nice barbecue place just across the street. It's oh. a fantastic place. So you oh. can, you just you just just go go <laughs> go grab some barbecue and come back, and you got your want, Fourth of July. Amazing. Listen, I'm <laughs> hungry, Paul. Amazing. <laughs> <this is me. laughs> um. Yeah, and it's it's a couple things to to remember, and I'll I'll say this over and over again. Um, um, being upset about things getting pushed continually and continually, it, and like everybody gets pretty mad at CIG for this stuff, but um, just remember that it's all because we really want to play this thing. Yeah. Also remember, at least they're telling us now. Yeah. And Actually, it's... I see I see a lot less rage about this stuff because they're like. This is where everything is. Yep. Um, <laughs> Here you so, go. <laughs> so yeah, uh, be a little patient. It's coming. Uh, we have a roadmap as to when that is coming. It's going to get moved. Things are going to happen. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. I wish we had one for Squadron. Yeah, but... I think I'm hoping. My hope. My hope is that once. Maybe this is misguided. I don't know. But I'm hoping once 3.0 is out, they'll give us a squadron yeah. one. But that's I, just my wish. They might. I'm not, that's actually – I, I, I agree. I think the, the situation is 3.0 is such a huge time sink for them. It's not just a huge time sink. It is literally the biggest patch they will ever produce. Yep. Because yep. there are so many things in here which are baseline required, which is the reason why we, for a long things, time it was like – Things that the end user got, won't we, even see yet. Yeah. It's like like item, like item 2.0 is done. However, you can't use half of IM 2.0 because the netcode isn't working or this isn't working. Like for the longest time, we've had all these like small items in it while they're developing it. Now that yes. they're finally getting some of these big foundations put down, suddenly all of the things they've been working before just click into place. Now it's just bug it's, fixing, figuring out what, what breaks when you click it. You know? It's exactly. the culmination of all of this work up to now. It, it's mm -hmm. the point where they can say, right, we, we've got this potentially huge universe. We know that we can handle this. We can put monstrous structures in. We know that we can put a NPCs in and they're not going to start clipping through things. Let's start adding the shit in that people can play with and then break that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Now, uh, if people are wondering, the things that are due for completion this week are, um, like in this coming week, uh, surface outpost lighting should be done right around now. It was actually scheduled for the 30th of June, but it isn't marked as complete yet. Um, the Del Marlevsky landing zone, uh, she might be a little bit longer, not quite this next week. I don't think um, they, um, I, I, will, I will interrupt you there because they actually said that the surface lighting was done a couple weeks they? ago. Frankfurt okay. in the Frankfurt update, they just haven't updated the, the schedule, but, but they okay. definitely said that the lighting was done because they actually pulled the pieces out of the, um, of the surface outposts, yeah, 
and um, started started categorizing them and like catalog cataloging them for future use for you know modular. Yeah, modular yep. issues and probably other stations and that kind of stuff. Yep. So inventory system game, game code engineering is due Monday. Um, doors and airlocks Wednesday, Monday item 2.0 ship conversion part two. So that's getting all of the other ships done. Um, they did a first wave and this is the second wave. The hint system uh, next Wednesday. Um, the personal manager app for Moby Glass is Monday. And uh, the physics serialization is due Monday. That means that's that all crazy. The, all of the network will code for 3.0 will be done on Monday. Wow! Now, remember, remember <laughs> before people get their sh this is 60 FPS. No. Nope. Oh my god. No. Nope. 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 30 maybe. maybe. Maybe 30. That'd be nice. And, and it'll probably be still unstable in compared to even modern builds, meaning it'll have a lot more crashes to it because there's a lot more shit to go wrong. So you're probably dealing with maybe an increase to 30 if you're already getting like 15 or 20. Um, maybe an increase to 30, but if it increases to 30, it, it, you may not have any change at all. You may, it may mm -hmm. be the same FPS you have now. The difference is, is that there's now uh, a... a Fuck huge large world now that you can you can explore like three yeah. massive moons that you, that are like yes a you may the size not of our experience moon. <laughs> so much rubber banding and stuff like yes. that yes yes well keep in mind it's three moons plus Delamar mm -hmm. um, which is due for completion in six days so um, the other thing actually that Brian Chambers mentioned last week uh, they ha are not working on Levski anymore. Um, they've moved on to working on the other landing zones for future patches. Um, cool. They, uh, they, I think they said Arc Corp, Arc Corp is the first one up to try and get mm -hmm. it ready for cool. uh, 3.1. Yep. I, I mean, see, you might as well. should come by much faster too, because we've um, got. I hope. <laughs> well, it's, what, what's in what's in 3.1? Mining um, is the biggest thing. Well, ne network bind unbind is probably going to be the biggest one because they've had to push yeah. it three times now. So oh, fire, online. listen. I'm tired. I stayed up way too late playing Wolfenstein last night. I'm sorry. Or, oh, I, I, I stayed up till, like, 6 o'clock in the morning being a dumb, drunk idiot playing, streaming video games. Yeah, so that, something productive. That's, that's Paul's entire stream. It's no games. He It's just a camera, and he just stares into the screen, and he screams video games. Mm-hmm. Video thanks. games! <laughs> um, so, actually, might as well take a quick look at that. 3.1. What is in 3.1? 3.1 is uh, modular space stations, the truck stop. Um, that'll be big. It's an enormous station. Female character models. Um, Art Corp in Area 18 will be in 3.1. Uh, f female player locomotion and female players. AI locomotion, shouldered weapons, throwable weapons, um, fists, knives... Takedowns, knockdowns, knockbacks, um, fuel, the, the version 2.0 of fuel, uh, criminality, room system version 2, elevators, airlocks, uh, item 2.0, diffusion refactor, item degradation, failure, and luck, uh, service beacons, which will allow player, players to ask for help, um, parties and orgs, game persistence improvements, I would imagine. Um, spec spectrum integration in, in game, that'll be a big one. <laughs> a uh, lot of these actually are coming um, in 3.02. I know, actually... I think this might be out of date. It, but, yeah, they haven't um, updated that at all. Uh, object container streaming core engine support, that is still in 3.1, I believe. Uh, also for ships, the Misk Razor, the updated Aurora, which actually I think might make 3.0, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Terrapin, the Hull C, and the two, uh, the Cutlass Red and Cutlass Blue, and the Vanguard Harbinger, which I have, and would be very happy to blow things up in. Anyway, yeah, that's yeah, 3.1. It seems a little out of date, but the other thing that they, they haven't mentioned at all in any of those things is mining, which they did say yep. that they wanted to get done for 3.0, but they're not going to get it. It's obvious, at this point, it's obvious they're not getting done with 3.0. I, I'm a little disappointed in CIG for pulling a CIG with that, which is like, hey, it's coming out, and then not talking about it at all, and not even putting yeah. it up on their lists. I think it has a lot to do with what they have to get stuff back-end stuff done, working mm -hmm. properly before they can get money out there, but they, they haven't even said that. They just said, hey, back-end shit needs to get worked or, on. 
I don't know. The prospector is going to be in the game. Maybe they're just going to be like, "Hey, guess what? Mining's in." <laughs> we didn't tell you, but um, I don't know. I I think it's weird that the prospector is going to be in the game without mining, but then again, the starfare is in without refueling. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you fly it around, see what's like. You know, turn on your turn on your mining laser, do nothing. Oh, I was like, why are there questions in here from January? And I realize you're filthy, f filthy Europeans. Um, oh, one six. Yeah. Oh, you you mean the way that everyone else listen! in the world but America does the date? <laughs> listen, listen. At the same time, America even does the date when we write it out fully. We actually we go, uh, one. June or one July 2017. First of July 2017. Yeah. That's how we'd write it. However, when we abbreviate it, it's 71717. All right. So uh, we're now moving on to the question section. Woo. Um, I want like a, like a bomb, bomb, bomb behind that next somehow. I don't know. Um, before we actually start doing questions, can I mention something? Sure. In the um, in the VFX section this week, uh, I thought it was really... I don't know why it was so cool, but seeing uh, at one point the, the like spray of sparks that they did that bounced off that wall. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It was really cool to see, uh, you know, the actual physical interaction between the particles and the shit around them. I, I'm going to be a little concerned about this, not too concerned, because I can see how they work it around, but I'm afraid that they might be doing damage states now to look cool, and then they're going to have to completely redo damage states again when they do internal damages to components. Like, right now, if you, like, walk up to a Connie, you have, like, little things like a mark, like, shield generator, and when we know in the future you'll be able to pull out that panel and tinker with the shield generator, pull out, like, the regulator valve and p put a new regulator valve in and that kind of stuff. And, it, and, and I'm afraid that by doing the damage states in the cool spark pattern now, like all this crazy shit happening because of the whole ships taking damage, um, that later on they're going to have to completely redo it to do the individual, mar uh, like, like oh, the shield core is damaged, so it's shooting out sparks from the shield core. But it would also get confusing if you had the entire ship sparking because it's taking damage, and then you also have the shield core. Like, which, which one is which? Is it just a shield core? Or is it something else broken? So... Yeah. That's that's a little concern of mine in terms of them putting the cart before the horse when it comes to the uh, it comes to like fancy graphics, but I can still yeah. see them doing it like as a like a sure shit's on shit's on fire, yo, and you also have to run around and figure out what's actually on fire, you know, <laughs> to fix it. Uh, yeah. So let us ask questions. I only have three, so you better start asking some questions. Click More that question. Link. Click that link in the chat exclamation point question to get that link if you lose it um Brivals 84 asks so where is everyone with the engine trails I like I like them I like it they're pretty they, and they look so nice in atmosphere like they're you know I, how they were twisting and flying and oh it's just I personally couldn't give a shit it looks nice I like. It. I'm not gonna even. You're, you're not gonna even notice it. They had engine trails for a long time. You been, did you remember when they had engine trails? Because they did have engine trails. They did. They they didn't look bad either, but they definitely had engine trails. Yeah. And they, they, they the only reason why they turned it off was because Chris was like, "It looks ugly. I want want it prettier." And also, engine trails have been in I think every single Chris Roberts game since Wing Commander. Yeah. So. Maybe not Wing Commander, Commander, Wing Commander ones, too. You know, because of hardware, the, the trails were extremely small, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nikolai asks, should I ask a bunch of questions in here like everywhere else? Uh, sure. Yes. Um, also, yeah, yeah. thoughts on the part that the Avocati didn't get pushed back. Um, if you missed earlier in the podcast, uh, that means they're, they're doing the thing. They're making it happen. They're making the gravy. I would say it's still probably on track for um, this next week, yep. maybe late this next week. Mm -hmm. uh, worse, worse comes to worse because of July 4th and someone has to take it off because they have to get their kids to like some pageant or they have to do something and they just, they're the, the key linchpin before getting stuff done, which I doubt it because I'm sure a lot of this stuff is being done by Frankfurt and uh, Manchester. But 
even if that was the case, then <clears throat> it would probably only delay it like a, like a week or so, but not like a week. Like instead of coming out on Friday, it's going to come out on Tuesday, next Tuesday, or two Tuesdays now. So, but. just for clarification for everybody, the opening of the Evocado Cody window is next Thursday. Mm -hmm. Um, so. I, I don't know. Personally, I could see it slipping to the following week, mm -hmm. just because it's so late. But um, regardless, I hope it hits the start of that window. That would be pretty sweet. And here's the other thing, is that none of your friends for Evocati can tell you if it's an Evocati. You ha they have to wait until CIG confirms it. So no one will know if CIG, if it's an, an Evocati until uh, either CIG confirms it or some clever motherfucker manages to look into uh, the... Uh, the the Evocati reporting system because I think you can still look into the stupid mm -hmm. bug report system on the mm -hmm. Evocati website, which is not locked behind anything. Um, which is the same as the PPU website. Yeah. Um. Okay. Agent twelve thirteen asks. I think the six hundred I is being worked on. Uh, yes, it is, mm -hmm. and will be in game for Gamescom. That's why they keep delaying the concept sale i don't think um i don't think it'll be in game for gamescom um what i think maybe i no, it's it's too big of a ship to come that fast mm. um i think the whole reason That's why what she said. yes um you're bad we <laughs> i had I think, to do it i think the whole reason why um it got pushed because it was obviously teased that it was going to be the next concept sale uh when the defender came out um, but I think the whole reason why it was delayed was because, uh, the Nox was being finished up and they wanted to put that out in time for 3.0. Um, because... Yeah, because the Nox is actually in 3.0. Yep. As, I'm, I'm, I, hopefully. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Someone said, someone said the whole, you aren't even going to notice them thing makes no sense to me. Aren't they putting in this, you can note, uh, so you can see ships easier. Like what? You, unless you are a hyper competitive player and you're looking specifically for ships and where their locations are, you won't notice them. They will, they will blend into the background. They're, so they're designed so you can see them easier, but it's like the difference between seeing a ship at a thousand meters versus a hundred meters. Yeah. You'll be able to see them easier further away, but you're not going to be able to see these contrails out at like 4K distance. Uh, the, the, they're going to have an LOD situation where you're going to see, you're not, they're going to, they're going to like go away until you actually get close enough. It's quite a useful thing because it, it also implies movement on something. So you can easily identify the direction that something is moving in if you're in a distance. Because, mm. yeah, I mean, sometimes, especially in space when there's nothing to imply that, it can be quite disorientating. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a game from all my experience in space. <laughs> but the problem is, is that, like, people are like, it looks ugly. It's going to be in your face. And the answer is you won't ever notice it's there. I mean, it's, and that's, that's, that's the key is like, yeah. Yeah. The, when you're doing VR, for instance, and you have to like jump around instead of like, like it's not a moving. Tron light cycle, man. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, but like, but it's, it's a gameplay concept. Like, like I said, with like the flick movement where you do with like, let's say like a controller for like moving yourself, um, in, in VR <laughs> games to prevent like motion sickness. It, after a while, you don't even notice it. You mm -hmm. just do it, and doesn't it becomes second second hand, second nature? It just becomes part of the game, part of the whole surroundings. It also adds another layer of gameplay too, because for if you want to be stealth, you're also going to have to deal with that. Like my engines give off a, off a trail; they shouldn't give off a trail. I have to buy this type of engine or apply a filter to my engines or some something. Yeah. Yep. Or turn off my engines and glide um, through this area because I I can't fire them because they'll give me away. Oh, it's part of silent running, isn't it? Like, a submarine, mm -hmm. when it normally goes, it makes a fucking shitload of noise. Well, okay, maybe not necessarily. Modern submarines are probably an exclusion to this. because of They still no, make they, a fair they, amount they, of noise. They still they, make they, a yeah, lot of noise, There yeah. is still such a thing as silent running for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, uh, there was a question earlier in the chat asking what in the heck the 600i was. Um, it's... Um, from the murmurings that we've heard from various offhand comments by CIG developers, um, it's Origin's answer to the Constellation. Um, it's going to be a small multi-crew 
level ship, like in like luxury a, ship, luxury ship, because it's an origin ship. Um, it's not going to be eight ninety jump sized. It's going to be more like constellation, uh, caterpillar, maybe starfarer sized at most. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see that soon. Uh, Project Sinus asks how it is Nox sale. Um. I think that's a question for for Nakara. How's the Nox how sale going? How is the Nox sale going? Actually, yeah. it was going really well last time I checked. I'll check up on it right now. So if we can move on to another question, sure. I will get you an answer. Um, Grin Diesel asks, "Can Shiver give us some type of rundown <laughs> on his <laughs> what?" Grin, Grin Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> yeah, <that's> pretty good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can Shiver give us some type of rundown on his studio visit or when he thinks he will be able to say more something? <laughs> Uh, probably not. Yes, I could take some things now, and I'll have a good think in the week, and if if you brave dead air, we'll probably, Takako and I will talk about as much as we can without breaking NDA, but I will say, the staff are fucking friendly, right? I, we're just on the way there, they, they and they don't refer to you as a customer, a player, they say, oh, you a backer? No, yeah. it's, it's a bit different, isn't it? It's a bit nicer, you know? And, um, they were all very friendly, and they were all working so hard that you would think they aren't being paid. That they, they, they just have to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Their studio has expanded. Um, they are using a lot more of the space. They are using all the space, I think, that they have got there. But there is still obvious gaps where there are vacancies for jobs. Uh, um, I saw some metalheads there, which was always nice. Um, <laughs> The one thing, the one thing I do Did have a question a for you, Shiver, game? is how is how is bored? I know he went. I I know he went there. He he, God, him and Sunjammer, our very own transcript God Sunjammer, were late to appear, and they just walked in casually with Aaron oh, Roberts. Oh, 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 Turned out on. they were having hold lunch. Hold on, hold on. I need I need to slow this down. Bored was late even for CIG. No, 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 no. Yep. We're listening to the well, reason. He was having know. lunch with Aaron Roberts, so no one yeah. was going to say, well, we're going to carry on without him because the boss is with him. Yeah. Was him and Sunjammer having having lunch yeah. with Aaron Roberts? Yeah. Was? Oh. yeah. If you're okay. ever at one of these gigs with Sunjammer, cling to him like a barnacle. It just <laughs> happens around him. <laughs> so oh, he's man. a good dude. Uh, knock sale numbers, Eric. Do you have... Yes, knock sale numbers. So, uh, we are... Uh, wow. Uh, 1.45 million currently. Woo! That so is not as good as the Eclipse, but that's a it's, lot. It's also, it's also a ship also... that costs about a tenth of the... Of the of, yeah. Uh, uh, it, it should be noted the sale's not over yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it still has another two days. I, 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 do, we, do we normally see, like, huge spikes at the last day of the sale, Makar? Um, Sometimes, I wouldn't say huge spikes. You you often see people go, oh, shit, I gotta buy it. Mm. Um, <laughs> so it does tend to go up on the last day of the sale. I'll say it probably ends somewhere around 1. Uh, 1. 1.6, 1. 1.8, somewhere in there. Um, but that's a lot for a small ship. Um, really, really is. And one of the things that uh, Fastcar was notice- noticing this week is the number of ships in the UE fleet. So this is the number of ships all players own combined mm-hmm. went up by forty thousand. That's a lot during of the sale. During the sale, it's gone up by forty thousand. So <laughs> that's a lot of noxes. Do you think any of those will be redeemers when they brought it back, knowing that it's not going to be on again soon? It's only a temporary resale. Yes, very possibly some stops. of it will be redeemer, but I don't think there's a lot of people buying the redeemer at this point. Um, it, most people even forgot it existed. I'm um, so tempted by one, but it's just I, those hair straight. Most people thought it for, forgot it existed until they. Um, They're like, yeah, we're not selling it anymore. We're not selling it. They didn't even. They didn't say anything. They just took it off the off the. Uh, yeah, I have two. I bought uh, a silver one, and I upgraded one of my... I have two black dragonflies and one yellow one, so I upgraded one of the black dragonflies to a black nox. So now I have one of each color for both. So, um, to compare to the dragonfly, because that's probably your best comparison, right? Yeah. Um, the nox is beating the dragonfly handily. Um, cool. In terms of in terms of dollars, at the end of the Dragonfly sale, it had made 1.35 million. The, the Nox is at 1.45 without being like it's probably got another 
it's got another two or three days here. So, yep. Um, probably going to beat it by about three hundred grand, roughly. Yep. Um, the I mean the the upshot of this is. People, you know what? A lot of people outside of the Star Citizen community really believe that Star Citizen's funding has totally tanked. Yeah. For some reason, I've seen this. It's this steady. That's the thing. Over and over again. But then I actually, they actually look and they're like, "Oh, because it hasn't at all." No, like um, for, since before before the eclipse sale, my thought was that CIG is going to be in for a very rude awakening with the the community because community was pissed. And uh, about them with 3.0 stuff and all that kind of stuff. And, and when the Eclipse sale came out and they sold a million in 48 hours, a million dollars in 48 hours, um, yeah. my, my response was they sold a million dollars in two days in the yeah. middle of a drought. In the middle, yeah. it's like, it, you know. There's, funding's not slowing the, down, guys. Funding is not slowing down. It is slower than previous years, but that's because previous years had the um, the VAC issue. Like they started putting yeah. VAC on 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 sales, so they had, that that caused a huge spike in sales um, a year or two ago. It's about it's, at it's, the moment between the two point. Is we on two six one, two six three, or two seven now? Whatever, whatever we are, so, um, oh, uh, we, we are in a content vacuum of between major patches, and mm. the people aren't, understandably to a degree, people aren't as enthusiastic to spend their money on something when there isn't anything new. Yeah. Yeah, but still, they sold a million, uh, a million dollars worth of, of internet JPEGs in two days, mm -hmm. and then they sold a million plus. JPEG space bikes in a couple of weeks or in a week, like you know, like they're so we're actually the perfect spot to talk about this because Q two just ended yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, basically, this year so far is two million dollars behind last year at this same point. However, the first two quarters of twenty sixteen were by far the best first two quarters they had ever had. Um, it was also so, coming right off of two point six or uh, two point oh and two point one. I gotta out. tell you folks, I've keeping I've kept track of this for a long time. Their year over year is still thirty four million. It has been between thirty two million and thirty seven million for the last three or four years straight. Like it's it is completely stable. There's they're like there That's are actually, insane. That's yeah. insane in this industry. Mm -hmm. Especially for a team that went from four people in a basement to almost 400 people in less than four years. Yeah. Yep. They're, they have not they have not ventured outside of the year-over-year -year funding being outside of that range from 32 million to 38 million in the last since the 2014? last since the last quarter of 2013. That was the last time it was even outside that range. It's been four years, like, long time. <laughs> um, three and three quarter years, basically. Yeah. All right, let's 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 move on. We have a billion questions. Oh, um, from, that's, it always hey, you went from, from none to a billion. From none to a billion because yeah. you complained that you need questions. So yes. it was like, well, I've got this burning question I'm going to ask. Uh, and probably half of them are Nikolai, because it's Nikolai. Headclot. Uh, actually, no. Uh, Headclot asks, uh, what is the status of the network rework? Um, so Done. the... Uh, for the most part, it's done. Yeah, um, there's the network bind and unbind that will be in the next patch, but um, but the big stuff is finishing up next week. Yeah, the stuff they've already finished. One of the major there were three major, major things that they were looking at to improve uh, stability, which was the um, uh, what was it the serialization, which is done. Yep. And then there's the there's one other one that's being done next week. And then there's then there's the network bind unbind, which is the sneaky way of saying. Um, the the mega map the 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 um well, basically design. basically what network bind and bind means is that it is that if you're far enough away from something the network doesn't care about it anymore which is oh uh, yeah it's the LOD it's the LOD yeah right um yeah. so because currently we still have the problem and it's still gonna be a problem in 3.0 and it may be a reason why your performance isn't spectacular um it still does care about everything in the game <laughs> unfortunately yep. Yep. until that that part comes in. Uh, Headclot also asks, "What are your expectations for CitizenCon and Gamescom?" 
I would like to see Star Citizen in Squadron 42. Yeah, yeah. I specifically <laughs> would like to see Squadron 42. Yeah, that one very, specifically. I have very low expectations. Yeah, I have low both. expectations. Yeah. I like A, last year's Gamescom was insane. They blew yep. everyone's yep. pants off with last year's Gamescom. And with 3.0 hopefully being done by the time they go to Gamescom this year, it'll basically say, hey, we're done with what we what you saw last year. It's done. It's here. Now, yeah. what would they do from then on is more of a question of like, hey, what are they going to show off? Like, is there anything they're going to show off? And the big thing that I'm concerned about is they said this before is that it takes dev time away from the game when they do big, flashy presentations. And it doesn't really help them in terms of getting content moving forward. It just helps them with more money and more attention. But when your game's not done yet and you're trying to go for more attention, that, that there's a point yeah. in which that will tip over into negativity. And we've kind of already tipped that point in terms of the uh, the public perception of everything. So Because every who year, knows? CIG shows up and blows everything off. So who knows? Who knows? Um, they got something, because otherwise they wouldn't... Well, hmm. <laughs> Never mind. Let's they move could, on. They could, they could not do a show, really. It could just be like a, like a recap. You know, for, yeah. for Gamescom, and they say Who everything knows? for Sysicon. Who knows? Uh, Nikolai... I'm personally hoping for more Melissa Estrada. <laughs> <laughs> Nikolai asks, uh, Nox or Dragonfly? Uh, Nox for me. And which species do you want to bike from next? Or or manufacture? Um, uh, Nikolai wants a Tavarin space bike. Um, I have the only correct answer to this, and Origin. I want to hear what you guys think first. Origin? No. Yes. No. Uh, an origin space Aegis? bike would be amazing. Nope. Um, I think you want a Drake. Nope. Really? It's a misc. Nope. There's a there's a manufacturer everyone forgets about, and it would, it's perfect. For it's called, oh yeah. It's called Consolidated Outland, and it would be the best manufacturer for oh, a I space agree. bike. I, I agree. It would well, also actually... it would also fly apart at the word go. Yes. Because it's not Consolidated Outland. That's Maybe fine. <laughs> It would it would be a sleek, angular looking looking space bike that would you would you would reach to top speed and it would actually start to shake, you know yeah. like it would like your I don't care it's would, fine. It's like it's like buying a, a like a, a Mustang and and you're like oh, I'm gonna take this out on the highway and you reach a hundred miles per hour and like everything starts flying apart off of it like wow. So I'm gonna go actually a little bit away from this and and suggest one. How about Kruger Kruger Intergalactic? Sure, but they yeah, almost have them. <laughs> I know that's the thing is like they they almost make them already. They make yeah. snubs. I I think logically you would have an origin. I want to see origin. a big Kruger ship. Uh, I want to see. I want to see. You know what I want to see from Kruger? I want to see a space truck, like a like a like a like a cargo hauling hauler. Uh, Just like totally away from Just everything else. They do completely different. Well, no, no, like 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 a. Like a actual hauler vehicle. Like I don't think. Oh, this like would like it attaches to the cargo. On yeah. the Outside. Yeah, okay. and then drive you drive it off to you know a where to go or like a tugboat. Yeah, but like a like like with wheels, <laughs> kind of like the mule. Oh, from... I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because okay. that also fits in with their kind of style. A small modular makes sense, and you can make it look sexy as shit. You know, like like a sexy truck. It's 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 the uh, <laughs> the, the rovers from from the Martian. A sexy you know, or what? Like or what you'll probably see with the Tesla semi truck. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Future Man is, everywhere. I think. Future Man is, I think, trying to tell me a joke. Oh. David, Future Man. Um. And it's There's no time for it's jokes. It's not gonna work because your timing is gonna be off. Um, Brivals asks, "What does 4K distances look like?" <laughs> yeah, Paul. What are 4K distances? <laughs> uh, they're 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 Minecraft, but oh. you know, in 4K. <laughs> Minecraft in 4K. Very far away. That's that's the hot take joke. Bro, hey, bro, bro, you, you know this thing called Steam? It's the it's the biggest thing ever. You know, you need 4K. I need 4K gaming on Steam. Yeah. You know, Minecraft, uh, CSGO, 4K. But no, no, like, kilometers. You fucking peons. Kilometers. K stands for kilometers. Yeah. Uh, head clock. <laughs> head awesome. clock. 
Head claw ass and shiver. I know you've answered this before, but it's fine. What is that white, fluffy, disappointed-looking creature attached to your mic stand? Oh, me oh no, that that's uh, Grumpy Cat. <laughs> it was a present from Stormy Winters, the head of fit fiction here. It's really yeah, it's a very tiny Grumpy Cat. Um, okay. Kate so to... asks, speaking of Consolidated Outland, do you think it would be awesome if Silas Kerner had his uh, Empire 8 headquarters in Mars and was descended to Elon Musk by lore? I mean, that would be amazing. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the, the They based the him on Elon Musk. Yeah. yeah. They based him heavily off of Elon Musk as a fuck you to RSI. Yeah. Like, that's what it is. RSI is like the general motors of... Yeah, spaceships, <laughs> or, or the yeah. or the United Launch Alliance of oh, rockets. Yeah. So yeah. it makes sense yeah. that like you'd have an Elon Musk alike to be like, yeah. "Fuck you! I'm gonna make myself an affordable spaceship that runs on 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 Although, solar energy." <laughs> should be said the first ever the in Star Citizen universe, the first ever personal spacecraft was an RSI Zeus. Oh, I, I have. Like a space shuttle. I'm still planning on making a very, very long lore series that discusses all about like how his, the history of the of the verse and comparing it, using it as like a historical analysis for like how it affects everything, how all of the different lore pieces would affect each other in the long run. And the one thing, if you look at the lore, RSI is the granddaddy of everything. Like, yeah. the the next ship manufacturer that even shows up in the in the universe, I believe, is Origin, and it starts in Germany. Three or four hundred years after RSI has ha, had been formed, I actually don't even know when RSI was formed. Technically, RSI just invented the quantum engine, but they, they don't no actually date. say when they, they 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 seem to suggest that they were around before they did that stuff, but yeah. they don't give a date about when they started. They I also the, made um sorry. I asked the sorry I asked the actual uh, the the lore guys about it, and they said I said is it. That they were like now does RSI exist now? Like was it was it part of the is it part of this like big rocket boom that was going on space boom of like private industry, or is it like around the time then and then they built the quantum drive and they said, we don't know, we'll see. Mm -hmm. So um, all right, uh, carbide ass carbide edge asks shiver you going to the Frankfurt studio anytime soon? Uh. I was planning on going to CitizenCon, but plans are changing. But I do really want to get into that Frankfurt studio, so hopefully, but nothing solid planned. We will be talking about what Relay is doing around that time at the end of the show. Um, okay. Uh, Agent1213 asks, will all ship cockpits be working for item 2.0 when 3.0 releases? Uh, hopefully. Yes. Um, they're in phase 2 right now. That is the plan of what they're going to do. Um, Brimstone asks, uh, flash forward a year or so. Imagine the day is here. The full release date for Star Citizen is decided a year. Ha! <laughs> 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 um, do you think RSI will have a concerted advertising campaign? Maybe TV ads, full page gaming magazine ads? If so, um, do you reckon no. it will attract no. a much younger crowd to the game, bringing much needed no, 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 numbers? No, 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 no. But also a more casual Didn't gamer that will already win say... a lot. Didn't they say they're planning on doing that for Squadron? Yes. When that comes to release, they're not going to do anything. So I don't see why they wouldn't. For uh, Star Squadron no, 42 well, yeah. is the advertisement for Star Citizen. Here's, Keep it, here's, can, here's, can, I, can I just no. point, make a point? The only studio that ever does like TV commercials is like Call of Duty and Blizzard because they have, they have infinite Bethesda. money. Bethesda. Bethesda um, does too. This does it, so does uh, Microsoft. Yeah. Okay, Big okay. giant publishers do that. Yeah. Places with infinite money. Do not expect to see television commercials for Star Citizen. Nope. Here's, um, maybe YouTube. I was gonna say that's what I was gonna say. YouTube gaming gaming Twitch. sites, gaming gaming magazine. The reason I started shaking my head right away was the T V commercials. Yeah, yeah. No. Those are super magazine expensive. magazine articles maybe in Germany. Like when's the last time you picked up a gaming magazine in the United States? There's only America? one. There's only one. <laughs> And it's, owned, and it's owned by GameStop. <laughs> uh, Game Informer. That, that's, that's the thing. It's like... like yep. hey, all right, so... I did for a long time a field called marketing research. So my job was to... People would call up the, the firm that I worked for, and they would say, hey, we have this product. We want to see if it's worthwhile. Can you do some, some research and see if people like it? And so my job was to go help form, you know... Um, get surveys and um, uh, focus groups and all these sorts of things to get 
information back to our clients to say, hey, this 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 product is great. This product is shit. By the way, most products are total shit, um, but people don't mm -hmm. want to admit it. Um, so I can tell you right now, if I was to look at something like CIG and CIG is like, hey, can you tell us where our demographic is? What should we market with? How, how should we talk? I would tell you right now that more than likely, even with Squash Report 2, we will see very limited roles before movies, probably targeted towards space and science fiction movies, like the next Star Wars movie. I saw an Overwatch um, advertisement before, uh, before a movie recently. Because mm -hmm. movies, because our generation and the generation that they're gonna, they need to get the, to to get into the the millennial, the, the between the eighteen and thirty five. Uh, because the uh, don't say that word; it's gross. The it's it makes me sad. It makes me sad. But the anything after that is pretty much bought in. Like you're not gonna get forty five year old uh, guys who don't know about Star Citizen necessarily to buy into Star Citizen. Those guys have already yeah. like that market is pretty much tapped. Yep. But you still want to. You're already your... here. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm... My brothers. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's the point. Is that at the at the you need to attract a new audience because you want to that you have to find out who the people who don't know already about Star Citizen and the people who do are going to be that that 18 to 35 range uh, who are PC gamers and so PC gamers generally don't watch TV. They've cut the cable. Yep. Um, and. Part. The if they're going to watch something, you're going to watch it on Netflix or YouTube. And Netflix doesn't advertise, and uh, YouTube does. So you'd probably get YouTube advertisements, which is actually cheaper in the long run. And you get more bang for your buck because you get more eyes on it than you would anywhere else. And movies, um, but you need to be very specific. Elite Dangerous did it before the, the first, the, the, the late, not, not Rogue One, but the Star Wars Episode 7. Um, mm -hmm. now, they released a bunch of stuff in the UK before, like uh, commercials before the uh, even the advert, like the previews, and it worked really, really well for them. And um, here's here's the thing too, um, like we're in a different era, and mm -hmm. uh, let's take let's take a very recent example of a game that it was completely successful without a single advertisement anywhere at all ever. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds. That game sold four million copies in two months on word of mouth alone. Can I can I make a very sharp point about that? Yes. Um, the Steam Summer Sale is on right now. Yep. Uh, Player Player Unknown's Battlegrounds has not been on sale. It's and full it, price. It only left the top spot in the bestsellers list very briefly on the first day and then instantly went back it's back yep and it, like it is that game is exploding <laughs> yeah well, see it, but that's I, I, that's I the thing it, nikolai i count twitch as word of mouth i, uh, I yeah, count it as word of mouth and, and and here's the thing I'm not gonna. I, I will counterpoint about the, the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds thing because Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, while it's a fantastic game and I love it and like it's exploded. There's a fan it's, base already there it, too. It, it, there was a fan base already built in A and B. It came out instantly. There was no like, oh, it's, it's mm -hmm. technically an alpha, I think, or beta. Right, now. I think it's alpha. It's an alpha right now, technically, but it runs really smoothly. They it's very did playable. a lot of. It's very playable and it's fun. Star Citizen has the has a problem which it's been out for a very long time and it has a lot of negative press. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds has literally zero negative press as far as I can tell. Everybody loves um, it. Everyone loves it. There's no one in, but so there's no like this is game secretly stealing your money or they're fucking this over. And it's, it'll happen eventually because every every dev fucks up somewhere. But the Star Citizen has to work from that negative like from that point of saying okay people know about this game have heard about it and probably heard about it in a negative platform, a negative way we need to let people know that this game is out and that this game is fun and playable mm -hmm. those three things are important in order to attract the audience so they're gonna have to pay for advertising word of yeah. mouth isn't gonna work they're gonna have I, to pay for advertising i, I think mean, they're gonna go the with word of mouth is why targeted. we're here yeah i think they're gonna go with twitch youtube uh i think twitch they advertisements are yeah youtube advertisements uh, I think they are going to go with gaming magazines and gaming websites. And the last piece is, as we mentioned before in this bit, I think they are going to place an ad before a Star Wars movie or another uh, space big movie, yeah. um, big sci-fi movie, uh, because that, I mean, 
you have a captive audience. These are all sci-fi fans, you know. <laughs> they you want go. to experience the thing they're just about to watch, and, yeah. and you just have to tell them you're about to. Exp- you you can go home and buy this game, and you will experience what you just watched, but for yourself. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, I'm skipping that one because it's dumb. Uh, Mayonnaise015 asks, what kind of ship would you like to see in-game that has not been announced yet? Examples, escort, early warning, radar ship, things like that. Um, other than, like, the obvious, uh, different sizes for professions we have, um, already, Mm. um... I would like. You're basically asking, like, what's a, what's a mechanic that you want in game that that is in the game? Yeah, essentially. Um, I want. I don't know. I don't even know. I actually yeah, came up with an answer for this. Do you want me to take this for sure. now? Yeah. Cool. I just thought of this, but I think it'd be really cool, and hopefully, it'll come in at some point. Construction ships. Um, building. Like stations and and uh, if we get to that point, places, yeah, <laughs> I think that yeah, no, that's is what you want. It's not in the game. Well, there you go. <laughs> yep. There's one of the things that I would love. Um, you know, a giant fleet of like player ships getting together to construct this massive station or um, giant weapon outpost so we can destroy the UEE, something like that. Yeah, be, be, yeah, <laughs> the, like it's tough to come up with because they they have. They've covered a lot of They've ground. They've covered a lot of ground in, in the in the ship department. And they pretty much have something for everything at this point. Um, and for the most part, I want different sizes for the same role and uh, other companies making the same type of ship as someone else. Um, Still a total size queen when it comes to ships. I just want to see bigger, more battleships, battle cruisers, dreadnoughts, yeah. more and guns everywhere. And people people always people always say like. Like, uh, um, I've always heard the argument where people are like, whoa, why do we need another this? Why do we need another bomber? Why do we need another fighter? Um, imagine you played a first person shooter, a multiplayer one, and there was only one assault rifle. There's one pistol, one SMG, one LNG, one shotgun, one sniper rifle. That would oh, suck, Star wouldn't it? Starmory. Yeah, so Starmory. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, poor Starmarine. So, uh... Hey, Starmarine's fun. It's just, there's a little depth. Uh, I'm gonna it quickly answer Canuck... More, more guns, too. So. I'm gonna quickly answer Canuck TW's question. Um, the Idris M has a big, giant, freaking rail gun oh, on the front of it. I was gonna say, there's, um, <laughs> there's, there, there is another there is another one that I would really like to see, in terms of, like like like, an actual profession. Which is sort of there, but it sort of isn't. A ship that's totally dedicated to interdiction. Ooh. Oh, like the freaking the like the Empire interdictors with gravity wells and things. Yes. This, yeah. This something, something that you a ship that you buy that has maybe one or two guns or no guns, kind of like the Terrapin or like a like a giant ball of armor that yeah. you just you you, sh- you fly they, out with your pirate ships they and you put... pop it down an area and nothing can get by it because Those... it's got. No, so Those things were in the EU for a long time, and I was really sad. Like that, like all the all the really cool ships in Star Wars is one of the reasons why I was sad that Disney wiped the expanded universe. But, um, but Rebels brought back the the interdictor cruisers with the mm-hmm. giant gravity wells in it, and oh, it's so cool. But yeah, that, that's that kind of idea. Because I mean, yeah. you, you sort of don't have that. You, you kind of have that with Elite, where you get like big ships that you can use as like gravity locking people to gravity lock people yeah. um but you don't really have that and they do want to have interdiction mechanics i just like a ship who's just solely designed around being a giant fuck you yeah. to anyone who flies by that's, that's a good it. idea yeah man can you imagine the chaos that would make in like a trade lane yeah. it would be the ultimate troll ship you just go to trade boy. lane plop it down <laughs> activate it and then like like eva out into another ship and walk away and just leave it there, and just no, don't do anything. Just cause chaos. Yep. You're basically um, causing a giant traffic jam. <laughs> oh, trust me, who, whoever is like, oh, like screw Disney for doing that, man. Let me tell you what. For as for every good thing that the expanded universe had, there was like ten just Dumb rotting piles shit. of garbage. Don't get me started on the Luke clones, man. It was bad. 
Um, All right. As much as people <laughs> love the idea that Luke banged every bounty hunter that was was sent off to kill him and eventually married one and had kids with them, that's a dumb that's fucking stupid. Plot line. It's a dumb plot line. Um, okay. Uh, Mayonnaise15 asks, do you think CIG watches Star Citizen streamers just to get ideas for ships and game mechanics? Of course they do. Yes. There's at and least one in the chat right now that I've seen. So, yeah. They also, they, they also do things like, um, like I'm sure Jay Lee goes around and looks at, you know, oh. asks figures out what people want to wear and he'll he'll sketch shit because he thinks oh that's really cool i like that idea or whatever they they troll forums and they like ideas they get ideas from forums like oh, that's really every cool. game developer trolls their community for ideas yeah yep and 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 they, they would be dumb not to because these are the people who that have the most passion for the game you're making and you're <laughs> not a you're not a genius you, you, you don't have all the ideas forever and mm -hmm. so stealing other people's ideas works all right, uh, two more questions. Headclot asked, this is the one I said was super dumb in, in chat. Will, will missiles in 3.0 cost UEC or IRL money? A production schedule said that missiles will cost money, but details oh, are sparse. I've got this. Right, they're going to cost real life money, like the cost of an actual cruise missile. Yep. Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> right? CIG yep. is just that desperate for the money. They're because desperate. this loan, the interest rate is like a million percent. <laughs> so they are charging you, you specifically, the cost of an intercontinental ballistic missile <laughs> one one per customer per household at a time and then then after that you get a 50 percent discount oh well that's pretty that's good. nice that's nice of them like jesus what do you think <laughs> <laughs> no missiles will not cost real money they're cost I, I alpha I UEC wish, like everything else. <laughs> sometimes I wish they would because you wouldn't have as many fucking missile spammers everywhere. But you know, hey. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the last question that is completely not Star Citizen related: uh, What did you guys buy during the Steam Summer Sale? Too much. Yeah, me too. Uh, I bought um, only two things. I bought um, oxygen not included for my wife. Oh, she nice. Really wanted it. Yes. And then I bought um, Wolfenstein. The New Order? Yes! I'm playing it right now again, because I haven't played it <laughs> since it came out. Because it's awesome. That game is so good. It has no right to be as good as it is, but it is. It's so it's, good. It started... It started the fitting is so good. <laughs> <laughs> it started the, the trend that, like, like, the Bethesda games that were made off of id, id properties yeah. are now suddenly good. Like, yeah! Yeah! Like, Doom 3 was good, but, like, everything oh. else it did after that was just Doom bad. 2016 is one of the greatest gifts to mankind that ever existed. And it's just good. It's, it's like so it's like, good. You just sit there and go... It's, it's another one from? of those things. It has yeah. no right to be as good as it is, but it is. It's it's Bethesda. It's yeah. Bethesda's been doing that recently. They've just been like, hey, you want something that's good that's you've never seen for we're get, 15 years? We're getting Let's Wolfenstein play. 2. This year, yeah. which is awesome, <laughs> and we're getting quick this year, which is awesome. You can actually go play quick right now, for free. Um, for free. Just go to the website and ask for a code, and they'll give it to you. So you have to download been... their their launcher, which is a little yeah. weird. But... Nah. Given what I've talked, I talked about during this. I guess it's no shocker, but uh, I bought Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, finally. Man. It's a beautiful yeah, well, game. I, I played it a bunch. I went, as many of you know, I went to visit uh, David in Ottawa, and he has it, and uh, all of his friends have it. So I played it there, and I love it. It's so good. He only recently purchased it, too. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. So Yeah. Um, and, uh, no, it's it's a great game, and the replay value is... Endless. Stupidly they're, high. They're adding two more maps. I know. Are, that was my maps, only... Also adding custom game modes. Yes! After I, after I, like, started playing, the only thing I wanted was I don't want to become so used to this map that it, like, I've been everywhere. I want a couple more maps so that I can get some variety. And that's it's the coming. only thing I really wanted. It's coming. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, even then, the map is big enough that it takes you a while to figure out where everywhere mm -hmm. is in the map. But even then, it's I have the Arma issue where, like, I'm playing, say, Day Z, and I'm, like, going through the Chinaris map, I know where everything is, but it's so far away, or it's so uh, spread out, that mm -hmm. I know that, you know, the Northwest Airfield is up there, and I'm down here in, you know, Polana. But at the end of the day, 
I could go to the Northwest Airfield and then come back to Polana and it would take me a couple of hours, if not days, to do that. And it's still fresh. It's like going, it's like, it's like I, I've been to Washington, D.C. several times before. I'd love to go back, even though I've been there like seven times. I've been to all those museums. I'd still love to go back to them because, you know, it's been a while since I've been there. So it's it, even though you get the like the samey thing, it's it's and it, to tie this to Star Citizen, this is similar how the Star Citizen is going to work. Even though it's samey, everything is so far out, spread out from each other, is that you come back and be like, oh, right, this place, it's not bad, because it, you you won't get the burnout. You know, it's because it's yeah. so spread out. It's not as much burnout as say like a Call of Duty map where you're sitting there going like, I've seen the same fucking hallway seven times in like the last three seconds. So. Okay, I just realized there's another game I might have to buy in freaking Steam. What? What's that? Um, game called The Turing Test. I've heard is really good. It's really good. And yeah, uh, it's on sale for super cheap. It's sixty percent off right now. Um, Shiver, did you get anything? Wow. Oh god, I got like Just Cause Three, Subnautica. Uh, there, there's a list. I got the new Micro Machines game. Can't recommend it at full price. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Paul. Did you get I already said. Oh yeah, you did. I got I got Wolfenstein New Order and um and Oxygen. That leaves included. me. Um, I got uh Near Automata. Um, because I wanted to play it, but I chose a different full price game right around when it came out, and now it's forty bucks. So I figured I'd pick it up because I want Square Enix to make more games like that. Uh, Hollow Knight. Uh, which I hear is really good. Um, I bought uh, Shadow of Mordor because I didn't. I don't own it on PC, and it's like three dollars, so whatever. Um, Super Hot VR and Firewatch, which is which is disappointing. Ooh, Ooh Firewatch is great. Yeah, Firewatch is um, good, but I'm, the the Super Hot VR is disappointing because they cut out the story. Oh. Whatever, man. I just want to. The story is such a good it's, story. For, it's good, for, for but I want to shoot some dudes in VR. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> fire. Uh, but just, just play Firewatch. It's, I, it's I'm gonna. Short. It's short, so you can probably blow through it in I'm, like an afternoon. I'm currently just so. annihilating my backlog right now, so perfect. It's, it's been good, and I also bought Worlds Adrift, which I haven't touched yet, but. Uh, Paul and Dolvac I, basically held me at gunpoint to play this. I so. am so salty right now with World's Drift. I, I may <laughs> have to go back for a bit. Oh no! A, a bug. We we basically built up the most epic ship we could find. Six thousand weight, tons of of guns. It was per we didn't even use half the weight we had on the damn thing. And then we landed on a on, a, on an island and tried to take off, and everything broke. It destroyed. <laughs> everything and we're stuck in a level three zone which means you can't spawn out you can't leave and you there's not enough resources to build a new ship to leave and we don't have enough like oh so it would take after like hours 40 to 80 hours of work it would take another 48 to 80 hours of work to get out okay i could see that yeah and it's like no i can't i just um no in terms of uh, some recommendations I have that are on the... Whoa. Paul got giant there for a second. Um, in terms of uh, recommendations that's on sale right now, um, if, you, if you're looking for a good game to play... I for, uh, It's on the tip of my tongue. I'm now looking at Steam. Um, oh, the original Dishonored is on sale for, like, nothing, so you should go do that. Mm. Um, uh, for the love of God, if you haven't played The Witcher 3 yet, what are you doing oh with God. your life? The that game... Was yet. Get I've on got the... Company of Heroes collection. Okay. What is Company of Heroes? It's an RTS. It's an RTS. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, He's Witcher... excited, can you tell? The Witcher, <laughs> the Witcher Three uh, Game of the Year Edition with all of the DLC, so Super about a, about a thousand to twelve hundred hours of game is twenty Fantastic is twenty five dollars right now. So go check that out. Um, Dishonored Two is twenty bucks. Uh, Stardew Valley is nine dollars. That was my game of the year last year. My goodness, go play that game. It's it is, wait, Stardew it is, Valley. 
Yeah. Isn't that the uh, kosher version of Star Citizen? Yes. Yes. Um, it's also <laughs> what it what it actually is is um, an homage to old school uh, Harvest Moon games. Mm -hmm. um, it's Harvest Moon on the PC. Yeah. Essentially. And it's just really good. Actually, it has combat in it, and that is also really good. Um, also, if you want any sort of Steam hardware, like the controller or the Steam Link or any of that stuff, that is also ridiculously on sale. So go do I, that. You know, Nikolai, I, I, Far Cry Primal wasn't the worst game of all time. It wasn't the best game of all time. But I wanted to applaud Ubisoft for at least trying to do something different with Far Cry because we've had enough. You're in a you're in an area, get a gun, shoot people kind of yeah. situation. And apparently, um, I, I wanted to give huge props here because I, I'm kind of stunned by the by the uh, the weirdness that goes on in that company. But um, so on the same from the same developer, Frontier has. Elite Dangerous, where they are basically trying to suck all of the money that they possibly can out of their community by any means necessary. Um, and then they have Planet Coaster, which is a very, very, very good game. It is currently on sale for the Steam sale. Um, and they keep adding free free stuff to it. As far it's as I can tell, there's no yet. DLC. Not yet, <laughs> but they, there is now a tab for paid DLC. It's, it's coming. Here's well, the thing, it's they, coming, take... but it's been out for a long time, and they keep adding free yeah. stuff to it. They're taking a, <laughs> yeah, I mean... a book out of Paradox's book in terms of like, hey, we're going to allow you to do mods. So if you're going to do mods and we make you pay for DLC, that would be dumb. So your DLC needs to be actually worthwhile. So they just release yeah. free shit and then, uh, and then like, allow modders to do what they want to do. It's yep. uh, a smart way. All right. Yep. I think we're let's done. Just say, let's just say yeah. there's no... Uh, there's, there's... It's not a shocker that it has an 89% rating on Steam. Yeah. It is a great game. It's good. Yeah. It, but if you prefer the management side of Roller Coaster Tycoon games, go for Planet... Not Planet Coaster. What's the other one? What? There Ta is another uh, one? Coaster Architect. Or yeah, like Coaster that. Architect. It's Steam Early Actor. That's more like the old RCT, more management-y. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's the end of the show. We're done. Uh, thank Thanks you for watching, everybody. Yeah, thank you for watching. Ooh. There's a lot of you. What, Shiver? We've got. Can I like tell people we've got a faux Friday night show coming on oh, Friday yeah. on the best this I is, see this is with in, Dolvac. This is in fact the section of the show for that madness, Shiver. Yeah. So. I see this all. Twitch.tv. I mean, Twitch.tv I mean, Twitch Twitch um, slash the base radio. Also, Twitch.tv slash the Pub for today. Yes, mm -hmm. Captain's Table that. is in two hours. Part, part D of the podcast. Podsat. Um, um, so I need, to, I, need to correct, I need to correct something that uh, that my friend Shiver just said. Oh. I, I don't think it's called Coast Architect. I think it's called Parkitect. 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 Um, and it is uh, it's in early access, but yeah, it definitely looks way more roller coaster tycoon ish. Um, I might be streaming tomorrow. Uh, there's a SpaceX launch planned for tomorrow, so I started covering those last weekend. Come hang out. Because it sounded like something that would be fun to do. Yeah. Um, there is one planned for tomorrow. The weather is currently basically... There's a 60% chance they can't launch, but I'm going to try to cover it anyway. Yep. Hopefully they get, uh, get to go. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yep. come hang out. Uh, also... Uh, big thing, uh, what we were hinting at before, what Relay is going to be doing for CitizenCon. Uh, Paul, do you want to talk about VerseCon? Yes. Uh, before I do, I will say, someone asked me what, who's going to be on the, 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 the table this, uh, this oh, week. Yeah. This, this week is, um, uh, where are you? there you are, uh, Darj, Darjinator, um, Geo, Gritspitter, uh, and possibly... Po or uh, fast cart and possibly Sergeant Gamble. Sergeant Gamble said he might be coming on as well. So it's going to be a pretty good table in terms of numbers of people. Uh, yeah. Oh, everyone was frozen. But um, yeah, the first time. <laughs> first I, I looked around, I was like, everyone was absolutely still. I'm like, <laughs> shit, did Skype fuck up again? Um, no, we're anyways. like, Paul's talking. Let us revere him. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're like my students when I'm doing a lecture. I'm like, yeah, anyone have any questions? 
No questions? So I always shake my head. Um, so, but first con. First con. Do the first con thing. First con. All right. So October twenty seventh and twenty eighth um, in Austin, Texas. Uh, we've been planning this for a, a little over a year now. Um, we are going to be doing a, a Citizen Con watch party on the twenty seventh, which is a Friday. Um, we're going to have a big screen, three hundred seats. Um, uh, myself is. I'm going to be there. A bunch of streamers going to be there. Um, I'm going to be there. Yes, Jake's going to be there. We're going to be putting on a live stream of the whole thing. Like, we'll live stream and video the, the actual, like, us hanging out. We're going to watch the watch the uh, presentation, which, which goes on, like, 2 p.m. And then we're just going to mingle and drink for the for, from 2 p.m. Till, till the wee hours of the morning. So if you want to hang out with possibly some CIG members might show up because it's, you know, after they're they're done. So they might want to come and blow off steam. Uh, with me, and there will be at least one there. Probably. Probably. Underscore. Underscore. <laughs> um, Hi, underscore. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're committed. You have no I, choice. I, I, just, I just committed him. Yeah. Uh, he he knows he knows what he gets when he shows up. So, but um, and then on Saturday we're gonna be uh, opening the doors at like noon, and we're gonna be having the SC4 competition. An SC4 competition. SC4 will be down there doing Star Marine and. Um, um, arena commando tournaments. Plus, we're going to have uh, Track IR is going to be there. They're officially going to be there down as, as a sponsor. Cool. They'll have stuff for us to give away. Um, and Thrustmaster. We've been talking with Thrustmaster, and Thrustmaster might be showing up as well. Cool. Uh, so you can come down, try out some toys, uh, uh, try out Star Citizen, drink watch some more, drink some more. Um, it'll be a good time to hang out and 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 discuss. We're we're trying to figure get, get a couple more uh, dealies. Signed down, make or signed up to make sure we have everyone ready to go. Um, but it, it should be a good time. So it's it's if you are looking for a party or a like a like a small convention to go to, and you can't go to Citizen Con, you want to hang out with other citizens. Austin, Texas, October twenty seventh, twenty eighth, first con. Verse it's con con dot space. space. Uh, and I believe we also have versecon dot com. We'll have a couple of different different things. It's just I like verse con dot space. So yeah, Burscon dot space. Uh, our tickets will go on sale tomorrow at five o'clock. Yep. Nice. Um, I did want to note it, a note because I I remembered I didn't say anything about the time. Uh, that launch for tomorrow is basically scheduled for about seven thirty Eastern. Um, so I'd probably go live about seven o'clock. Uh, probably will actually go live, but if they scrub the launch, I'll basically cut off the stream after that. Um, so yeah. Yep. Show up, say hi, we'll hang out. Um, and that's it! Uh, thank you to the people who threw bits at our faces. Uh, thank you for bits. Subscriber. Thank you for that's the subscriber. One. That's nice. Um, uh, if you didn't know, we're Twitch affiliates now, so you can do that. Emotes are on the way, uh, if you have, but we haven't nailed down exactly what we're going to go with yet, so if you have any good ideas, uh, go to, or uh, email us at staff at relay.sc, or tweet at relay underscore sc, and uh, we will take them into consideration. We will absolutely give you credit if we choose yours. So, yeah. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, wasn't a total disaster, uh, only mildly. Um, Mild disaster. Mild disaster. Uh, we didn't and, have any uh, unfortunate sound clips. Yes. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I mean, I can do the full dump right now. <laughs> let's get this over with. I can turn um, this on and do a full dump. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What's the difference between a. F How do you do a half dump or a full dump? <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 when you the full dump is when you wait for it for like you like you hold it for like like days like a couple days yeah uh, and then, right, and then yeah. When you let it go it's just like it literally breaks the porcelain at the bottom is so heavy kind of yeah. thing that's 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 cheap. yeah yeah that that's how Bono was made wasn't it oh, yes yes man he's a, he's a, he's, all right he's a <laughs> I'm murdering this thing oh, guys.
<laughs> I'm murdering this thing. Uh, if you if you enjoy the, the stream, please don't hesitate to hit the follow button at the top of the screen uh, to get notified when we go live. For the most part, we're here every weekend, Saturday, uh, 2.30 Eastern, 11.30 Pacific. We also have other shows on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and other times, uh, like tomorrow's show for SpaceX. Um, you can, if you miss part of the show, you can watch the VOD here immediately afterwards, or you can go to youtube.com slash relay underscore SC on Monday. Uh, you can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and Google Play, I think, maybe. Uh, there's also an RSS feed on our website, so you can go there. Um, if you're feeling especially insane and you don't want to give money to Amazon, you can support us at patreon.com slash relay underscore SC. Um, that is our primary source of funding to keep the lights on at Relay, so thank you so much to all of you. Um, uh, yes, some, thank you. Some perks you get with that are a discount code for the store, which there is a discount code for patrons right now. Um, if you're not, I posted it in the Discord, so if you're not in there, oh well. Um, it ends tomorrow anyway, so, yeah. Uh, 30% off our merch store, um, and, uh, also a Q&A session monthly with us, which we haven't done yet for June, and I apologize, but it is coming. Uh, David goes to weddings every weekend for some reason. He's uh, Italian. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Come back next week, same time, same place. Goodbye. Good night.